The next thing that we're going to do is create our about page. So just go ahead and click on the about page up here. And right now we see that there's a sidebar here and we want the page to go full width. So we need to change that. So just click on edit page and under template, make sure it's full width page, press update and view page. Once we do that, it's full width. There's still an about right here, but that, is, that disappears as soon as you click page builder. So go ahead and click on page builder. And of course we could use the content blocks and, and put in uh, our, our headline up here, the about us headline, but we're gonna do it the manual way. So just drag in one column. Once we do that, let's make it full width by clicking on the wrench the row settings and make it full width and make the uh, content width also full width. Once we do that, let's uh, put in an image. So under background, let's do photo. And let's select the photo. Upload files, select files. All right, and let's find our photo and let's put it in there. And again, if it's really big, like bigger than 1900 or 2000, go ahead and click edit image and scale the image. But ours is fine, so select photo. All right, and the position of center, that's fine. Yours, you may need to position the photo to the top or the center bottom or wherever, but that's fine. Uh, the background overlay, we're gonna do it um, 26, 26, 26. So we find that color. There it is. And the overlay opacity, that's how dark it is. If we put it 100%, it would be completely dark. If we put it at 1%, it would be barely dark. I think about 10% is fine, so we're just going to uh, make it like that. Once we do that, we need a little more space at the, at the top and bottom here, so we want to go to advanced. And margin is a space above the image, so we don't want to change that. We don't want to do this. Um, we want to change the padding. That's the spacing uh, within the image. So let's go ahead and do padding 120, 120. All right, so we did that 120 pixels and 120 pixels gives a little more padding on the top and bottom. Press save. And now we're gonna add our headline. So it's just gonna say about us right here. So go to add content and under heading, just click, hold and drag and make sure not to drag it into a new row, but to drag it right in the center right here. All right, and once we do that, uh, under heading text, we're just gonna put about us, and we're gonna make it, um, let's see, about 80 pixels tall, so pretty big. And the font weight, maybe we'll make it bold, so it stands out a little bit more, and maybe we'll make it white. And under alignment, we want it to be the center. And we're not gonna have any sub headlines, so we're just gonna keep that as no, and we're gonna save changes. So there we have it, our nice about us. That looks pretty good. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, drag in a paragraph content block. So of course we can um, make it by going to add content and, and dragging in a row or whatever, but I have set up these content blocks so it's a lot easier. So we could just uh, click on content blocks and we'll see simple paragraph here. Just click on it and it adds it in automatically for you. So that is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> so once uh, that has happened, then we can just go ahead and hover over here and edit it. So instead of this, we wanna paste in our other content, which I have. So I'm just gonna paste it in. If you're pasting uh, content in from somewhere like Microsoft Word, you're gonna wanna paste as text because sometimes it has weird formatting that WordPress doesn't understand. So just if you know, you're know you copying it from somewhere, make sure just to paste as text. Make sure this is clicked and then um, select all by Command A if you're on a PC, Control, I mean Command A if you're on a Mac, Control A if you're on a PC to select everything. And you can uh, paste your other text in here, just like that. 
Okay, so once we have that all done, we can, of course, change the font size if we want. Maybe we want this to be 16 pixels, which it is now, or 18, or however we want it. We'll keep it at 16, it's fine. Press save. Okay, and that is looking pretty good. So uh, maybe we can change some of this formatting here. Maybe add an extra space and press save. All right, once we've done that, we can press done and publish changes just to save our work to see what it looks like. And we see it looks pretty good. All right, go back to page builder and to get this sort of look where it is uh, not all the way across, all we simply did was go to row settings and add space to the left and right side and top and bottom. And you wanna do this because sometimes if people's people are reading, you don't want them to go all the way over here and read, 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 read. It's harder on their eyes. It's a lot easier to read when it's narrower. So that's just why I put that in there. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add four image boxes. So like one, two, three, four, right below here. So uh, again, you can always, uh, you know, build anything you want by pressing adding content, but I've made a content block already for this. It's called four images, so just go ahead and click on it. And I'll add in for you perfectly. And you can always hover over these content blocks to see what it is. So this is a photo. So if we go to add content, we can always go to the uh, basic modules. And this is the same thing as dragging one in here. So this is a layout with two columns, this right here, two, two different columns, and then two columns again. And then I just controlled all of the spacing and dragged in photos in there. So that's how I made that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna swap out these images. So just click on the wrench again under photo settings. And I've cropped this so it's square. I mean, you can do different ones, portrait, uh, you know, landscape, all of that. Let's keep it at square. And let's uh, press select photos. So we're gonna find our photos by uploading and selecting files. And our photos are in the four boxes, and this is the first one. So, and again, uh, you know, you can resize these. And if you don't resize them, then your picture will be really big and it'll be slow to load. So you always want to resize your pictures the smallest possible, but obviously still big enough where it's quality. All right, then select photos. 900 wide is good enough. Select photo and press save. All right, then let's just keep on doing that. Select upload files, select files, and I'm going to go a little faster because it's just uh, repeating the same steps basically, which you'll find a lot you'll do when, uh, when making websites. All right, so edit, select, upload, select files, and number three. All right, that's my brother right there uh, trying to hit me with a pipe. No, just kidding. Save and one more. Okay, select photos, upload, select. Okay. I took this one right here on my iPhone. It was pretty easy. Uh, pretty cool angle though. I really like how that one uh, came out. This is some of their plans for a uh, new plumbing remodel. All right, so the next thing that we I want to do is I want to add a call to action at the bottom because let's say people are looking at your website and they scroll down to the bottom and then they're like, oh, okay, now what do I do? Maybe they could click some of these links, which would be fine. But I want to um, make it so um, there's a call to action. Basically, you know, call us. So we can, again, add content and, you know, put in a, in a column or whatever. But I've added another content block. And this is a, the CTA symbol. So we could just click on this, call to action. Oh, I don't know why two added. Just go ahead and remove one of those. Must have clicked it twice. And now what we can do is we can change the color. So go ahead into this row settings, not this one. This is the text editor settings. Just go to the row settings and let's change the color. And um, I think I want the color to be something like uh, the 26, 26, 26 that we use on everything. All right, and we can also here, we can make the text color white. So if you see over here, the text color, 
We can change this to red or whatever, but let's keep it white so it kind of pops. All right, then uh, for some reason, uh, there's not a lot of space here. I think if you go to advanced and we could just make the bottom 20 and that could be, uh, feels a little more even. All right, and press save. Once we do that, we don't want this button here. Um, so we're just gonna get rid of that. So we're just gonna get rid of all of this. And a trick is to uh, leave one letter. And that is because um, sometimes if you don't, then then you don't then you lose all of your formatting. So you you leave one letter and then you start typing. Just a little trick because sometimes if you erase everything, your formatting gets erased also. All right, so now um, let's put a call to action. So let's call that number. Save. Okay, and now if we press done and publish, we are done with our about us page. That was easy and fun and very cool and it's looking great.